news abound. I do believe I've figured out a way to create a fantastic morning cup of coffee with the Just Us Coffee Co. supplied mini AeroPress. Two, the construction portion of the Spindat back deck gussy up project. Well, it is done, baby. It is done. You can thank me for sparing you the pain of having to watch the table being built. Equally as exciting, the GTMX parts have arrived. They're sitting, they're sitting on the newly built outdoor coffee table, like right now, literally out of frame right now, they're sitting there. I'm gonna show them to you. Actually, um, I should clarify, Parts have shown, not all the parts showed up, but my most anticipated, the parts that I'm like, oh, this is gonna be what completely, like, changes it. This isn't the right bike. These parts that have shown up are going to be the pieces that finally create the silhouette that I have been imagining in my brain, creating my level of expectation, the physical, Manifest, manifest, the physical version is at my fingertips. This five inch rise race BMX handlebar from Answer, the shorter axle to crown cult BMX fork. Let me clarify that 26 inch BMX fork. That is, that is BMX fork. And the Colin Gregg supplied animal BMX stem. And as Harris says in this comment, just do the fork and stem already. It's been three videos on this bike. Whew, Harris, I, I agree. It's time. We finally do the fork, stem, and as you forgot, handlebar on the GTMX. And finally see the physical version of what I've been talking about, thinking about, dreaming about. Yeah, I guess that's the end of that thought. Okay. That was close, almost forgot to shoot a bunch of befores. Let's go shoot a bunch of befores so that we can do an appropriate before and after. Okay, I think, I think that'll do. You might be wondering, is he gonna take that crown race off of that fork and install it properly on the other one? And the answer is no, I'm not going to do it properly. And uh, I'm gonna leave it to your imagination how I tap this crown race on. Of, this is kind of the moment. This is like the, is it everything I was hoping it would be? Or are my dreams destroyed? I'm, I'm like nervous. I'm like sitting here nervous. I haven't looked. I don't know. Like, will it, will it be exactly the look that I want right away? Or is it something that needs to grow on me? I'm like leaning towards it might grow. I'm trying to hide it. I don't want to. I really hope the minute I put it on the ground, I'm like, oh, that's the spot. I must say, it looks really good. But it is one of those like, give it an hour type things for it to fully set in. The more, the more and more I keep looking at it, the more I'm like, oh yeah, no, that, yeah. Okay. I really hope it's still Barsman's. No? Oh yeah. The biggest takeaway. Okay, let's look at it outside.
Okay, big question kind of becomes, will it still bar spin? Try, try it before it starts raining. Okay, feeling pretty confident that'll work out in the air. Okay, I take it back. As is, the way it looks, everything about it, this is the best bike I have ever built and it is still not done. I can't help it, I'm still outside, trying the double bar spin. <laughs> Round two. Oh, that's one half! <laughs> I can get that. I can get that. I know I can get that. I can get that. Oh, I love it. Okay. Run by, run by here. Double bar spin. Yeah! <laughs> How is this my job? Okay, just like, without a doubt, mark my words, this will go down easily as the top number one most fun bike that has ever been built on this channel. I can't see it being beat, though I will continue to try. Couple things. Do you see the resemblance? Do you see it? Today is probably like the last of the fairly large uh, visual changes that the GTMX is going to go through. Everything I do to it kind of from this point forward isn't going to do a whole lot in the way of changing its appearance, its silhouette, like this. The way that the top tube slopes, the length of the fork, uh, the single speed, the disc, the... Uh, actually, I feel like I probably could have gone a little bit higher with the bar, but even if I... Those are the big visual changes besides possibly paint. That'd be like one of those things that I do very last minute before I want to make the whole like reveal, like reveal video, which won't really be a reveal. It'll just be like a four minute edit just showing this thing off because it's so ridiculous and fun. So uh, what does that leave? Like what, like what do you need to do to it, Eric, for it to be like considered done? Obviously we have it at a, a rideable state at the geometry that I want. But as I mentioned before, I wanted to be running a BMX crank. So there's a European threaded 19 mil Odyssey bottom bracket that's on the way so that I can run a BMX crank in this. I think a smaller cross country style pan eraser tire, like the, the Driver Pro will go on this. Wheels, wheels for this thing are going to be sick. I shared on Patreon what the hubs are. You already know what the rear hub is. I know what I'm going to use for the front hub. I haven't told anybody what I'm going to use for rims and spokes yet, but I have them all. Um, I'll probably share that on Patreon. If you want to support this build, this channel, by supporting through Patreon and finding out little tidbits of information like that, well, you are welcome to do so. You have no idea how helpful it is. Um, and then, um, oh, and then last but not least, this, uh, this elixir brake, it's just on there because it's what I have. I am going to run a mechanical disc on this. So I have like, uh, you might not be familiar with this. Any of the BMXers here will be, uh, there's like linear BMX cables. And the reason I want to run that is because this frame, it does have the cable bosses for rear brake cable and nowhere to really like put a, a brake hose without just, I have it electrical taped on there right now. And I don't know. Ultimately the way it sits right now, wow, incomplete, not the full realization of my vision of what the GTMX is supposed to look like. It's rideable, we can ride it now. Like we can ride it exactly the way that I had envisioned riding it. And we probably will. Maybe not today because it's gonna rain. Why does it seem to always rain? Mm -hmm.